I have been so excited to see Google update the features available in me. They added breakout rooms, which is really exciting. Uh, and this week we see up in the activities tab showing polls and Q&A. The polls is very simple. If you want to start a poll, you just ask a question and pop your options in there. And if you need more than two options, and then you can save those or you can and so you can create it ahead of time and then launch that poll later in your class so that's a really great feature and then uh, on the Q&A side you can turn on Q&A and really what this feature allows is your students to ask you questions so there was a trick where you could go back into Google Slides and create the Q&A mode there and you could move back and forth between what you were seeing but this will allow you to have this tab open and answer questions on the fly without having uh, to move from one uh, tool to a different tool and uh, students can upvote your tool your they can upvote your response or your question so you can find out what questions are really on students minds uh, they also can say oh the question was answered they can check that off and uh, you can see all those questions you can hide the questions as you go so it's a very cool feature now if you're a school like my school is the bummer about this is we are an iOS school so we're using iPads and right now at this time those features are not available for students to see on the Google Meet application so we'll look in, we'll be looking for that to happen uh, over time but I did want you to know that those tools are now available